Among the ruins of Youngstown's past are many of the bleachers where people once sat and watched baseball. The park's director wants six of them torn down. There are safety issues and eyesores, he says. What he needs is money. Tearing down the stands is new at 11. Jack Hay has spent most of his 65 years playing baseball around Youngstown. Have you ever pitch here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, plenty. But walking into the stands today at Ite Field off of Midlothian Boulevard, Jack Hay admitted yeah, you know. was a little sad. Wow. Look at this. The stands at Ipe are crumbling, piece of concrete by chunk of concrete. Vegetation grows between the wooden bleachers. The few seats remaining are warped. And they really need to come down as far as safety reasons. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Bob Burke is the Youngstown Parks Director. I interviewed him at Stambaugh Field off of Glenwood Avenue, where the condition of the stands is exactly like Ipe. So it is on my goal sheet to eventually get these bleachers all taken down. What's holding up the project? Money. There are six sets of bleachers Burke would like demolish. They are at Ipe Field, Stambaugh Field, and Gibson Field on the south side, Oakland Field and Nick Johnson Field on the east side, and Todd Field on the north side. The chirping of birds is the only sound coming these days from under the stands at Oakland Field on Blaine Avenue, though the field itself is still used by a youth football team. Built in 1939, Oakland was a public works project. It had lights, which made it extra nice. Pemberton was the Cadillac. Uh, Oakland was the, the, the Buick. And, and, and Ipe was probably like the Ford Chevy, if you, if you want to think of it like that. Tearing down all six sets of stands will cost about $400,000, around $68,000 a piece. There's no asbestos, so it should be a straight demolition, removal, and renovation. All of them may not come down at the same time, but I believe in time, over the next few years, they will all be gone. But in our time, these fields were nice, and, and it was fun. Now, Jack Hay did mention Pemberton Park. It's still the Cadillac field of Youngstown. It's still being used. There'll be no changes there. I also talked with Abby Beniston, who runs Youngstown's demolition program. She, too, would like the stands to come down, but there's no money for it this year.